exciting episode of Is It Really Reality? Guys, we have a great show for you today. Oh, man. We got a weirdo Creole Bay in the building again, man. I, I swear, man, I just don't understand this girl, man. You come on, you try to play all this purpose stuff, man. If you want to really see the devil come out of her, man, you go over there to Instagram, man. This girl is really over there laying it down. Like there's no Christian in her, man. And you know, guys, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't come on trying to play like you're this perfect person. Now, Latoya, let's get into it. With you and d Larry, I just don't understand. That's how you know a person is a weirdo. You go start messing with everybody that, you know, like, what did Cryer do so wrong for you? You already ran off with Mucka. Now you're going deeper by dealing with d Larry. I don't know who came and, you know, contact who first, man, but you guys are something else, man. And d Larry, you sure find a way to link up with with anything, any of Cryer X. Then you get mad and you call, you'll call her your best friend. And then when she stopped talking to you, you know, then you'll say, hey, we were best friends. And you come up, come on, man. What is going on with you guys, man? Come on, man. Now, Creole Bay, you got to stop it, man. You're just reaching out to everyone, everybody, man. I'm talking about you going Lord's gangster emoji. Come on, man. You're doing, you, you, you're just reaching out to anybody that Cryer or Erica don't deal with. Then you come on with this bad singing. You just want to try to prove to us that you can do everything better than Erica. But it's not working. Because your, your singing is bad, man. I mean, it's bad, it's terrible. Don't you ever come on trying to do a song. You come on, you're trying to promote d Laurie music. Because that's the evil and dirty person you're, you are, man. That's the evil and dirty person you are, man. You guys, you got to pay attention to what she's doing. She's doing everything that can rub Eric and Cry the wrong way, but that's all you're doing it for. Because I don't understand why are you and d Larry friends. I don't get it, but I don't get it. You're reaching out to everything that's in this guy's past. Because you know why? You you are a woman scorn. You want to destroy this guy mentally. You want him to be destroyed, but like I told you, all these people you reaching out to cry with a gift wrap and gave you to him. He didn't like you that much. You coming on, you, you just trying to get in. And Mucker, you're sitting back. I know that the benefits are good, Mucker. I know the benefits are good. You might get even a new pair of pointy toes out of this here. Probably some Gucci ones. You know? I know the benefits are good. The benefits are so good, guys, that Mucka is not even paying attention to what she's doing. You know, you look digging up all this guy's ex and everything. What about Mucka? If it was me in a relationship, guys, I will be like, hey, you're going too far with this. What What do you want from this guy? You, you, you're calling, you, you, you know, you're calling up to the hospital. You, 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 you set, you're getting the videos flagged. Okay, I get all this stuff, but you keep going too far. What, are you still in love with this guy? That's the question I'll be asking, bud. Because it don't seem like it's about you, bud. You sitting over there enjoying the benefits. You're not worried about anything that's going on with those pointed toes. You're not worried about anything. Mother say, hey, man. Hey, listen, she can do anything she want to do. I'm going to here for the benefits. I'm not going to let another guy run off in the wind with this. I'm going to profit off this. Already done got me a house. I'm gonna keep on going with this stuff. Even though it's not his house, he's just getting free rent paid. Come on, guys. You say in one sentence, this is your house, and you. Uh, but you know, in the next sentence, you don't, you, you know, you're going to look at that houses. This don't even look like the beautiful house that you showed us from the beginning. Man, you guys are, what these young guys say, you, you're full of cap. That's what you is, you're full of cap, man. You're full of cap. You come on and they're smiling and then they're trying to be evil and stuff. Man, you don't get up out of here with this stuff. What's wrong with you guys, man? You got to connect with all crying ex and stuff. You, you, listen, Mucka. Listen. This is what I want you to do, Mucka. You ask your girl. You say, hey, I understand what me and Erica are going through. You know what I'm saying? We got reasons for this and that. 
But why are you so mad at Cryer? Why are you digging up his ex? Why are you just worrying about everything this guy is doing? This is the stuff you need to be asking the mucker. But you're not trying to blow those benefits. Mucker said, hey, man, I don't got to go to this little office no more, man. I can sit home and this girl going to take care of me, man. Hey, I don't care who she pick with. I'm going to help on some stuff to, to keep me looking good. Because as soon as the narrative die down, guys, and nobody's talking, everybody done got over this mess, guess what? All the attention is going to be on Mucker with his small office. She's going to be like, hey, I don't know about this marriage. You, know? you, ain't been, you, didn't, you ain't squeezed in that office and I don't know when, man. I don't know. But see, that's the thing. This is the thing Mucker is not worrying about. Mucker love to jump to the next. As long as he got a family member out there that put a house in, his, in their name for him, he don't care. Mucker's going to suck up all these benefits until they run out. He's sitting in La La Land right now. Because I'll be like, man, why is you keep... But, you know, Mucker's probably along with it too, guys. Because I forgot he's infatuated with crying. The same way that Latoya's infatuated with Erica, but... Man, <clears throat> crying Erica, man. Please, man. No more bringing these losers to the internet, man. Please, man. You guys are, I mean, yeah, oh my God. Cry, I know you're sitting back like, man. I can't meet, I'm never bringing a chick on uh, YouTube again, man. Look at what it's creating. Because what happened is, man, a lot of time these guys cry in here, come in. They, they be fans of you guys. But you guys, you know, they, they play like they never heard of you. They never seen you before in life. And then you guys say, hey, okay, this is a person that don't know anything about nothing. That, you know, let me give them a shot. Let them come on with me because they're not really YouTubers, so I, I shouldn't have to worry about anything. But that's, that's, that is, is, is the total opposite, man. These guys are what, what they call finessers. They know, they come in, then they act like they don't know you, never heard of you. Just to get their foot through the door, man. And then you see how much YouTube stuff they really know. No. You know? You see how much YouTube stuff these guys really know after you cut them loose. It was all, man, ain't no, come on, man. The toy was testing Cry way before. It's just that, you know, Cry wasn't paying attention to all this stuff. See, the subscribers, man, you guys will, will find anything. And they found it. This girl act like she don't know Cry come, coming up in here with this bull. Act like you never heard of Cry. Act like you never heard of Love by You guys know what you was here for from the beginning, man. Both of you guys. Man, I swear, man. Listen, cry in Erica, please. I mean, you better go do a YouTube background check on these people before you let them in again. Make sure they don't have nothing post nowhere. Because all these guys, man, they've been doing this stuff, man. They get there wearing the dough. See, guys, listen to me, guys. Sometimes it's best to keep a fan a fan, because all these guys are nothing but fans. When they see you, come on, act like they don't know anything. And then once, once, once they turn, once, once you let them in, right, it turn into envy and hate and jealousy, because they're in now, they're next to you. Now they're not fanning anymore. So Cry and Erica, listen, no more guys, don't meet no more people on YouTube, I don't care. Nothing. You got to know that this is a genuine relationship. Don't bring them on YouTube. Don't even let them know about your YouTube career, man. Because, see, when you first meet someone, it's not their business of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And you, you don't have to tell them, hey, look, I got a job. Maybe, yes, it's legal. That's all they need to know for right now, you know, until you get to know them a little better. Then you let them in your life. Because half of them, you got to watch them. Because, see, when you, when, 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 when you don't let them know, right, this is how you can tell that they're here. For the right reason, and not the wrong reason. When you don't let them know, you just wait and see how much they go to kicking and scratching and trying to figure it out. Get on YouTube or come to you and say, hey, I heard about your YouTube. Let, let's see, let them bring it up first. And then you know, this is what they came here for. Act like you don't do nothing, don't do anything, you know what I'm saying? And let them come out because... You're going to tell that they're here for that reason because they're going to mention your YouTube somewhere down the line. If you're not putting them on it, they're going to bust out and say, hey, I heard you do YouTube, man. You got to teach me something. They're going to come out. If you don't come to them first with it, they're going to automatically come out. Trust me, because that's all they came for, bud. That's all they came for, bud. Got to let it play out sometimes.
some time, man. Because, you know, a lot of this stuff, man, you got to watch because, see, I watched uh, Damon from the Prince family and other bigger YouTubers, and I see how they play, man. And they're not letting anyone in because they don't trust no one. They understand that this can blow up to something bigger. Get these guys a little name and they get a little fan base and now they got, now you in a war now because you done gave them some people to fight with. There's a lot of people that sit around your channels and they hate your guts and waiting on the opportunity for someone to come up on a level where you can hear them talk through them. So they're there cheering them on. Yeah, say that, say that. Yeah, yeah. Because they didn't like you from the beginning. You know? And so those people that don't like you, they're still going to come to your channel. But they're going to be over there cheering those guys on. Because they don't like you. They never like you. They don't care. They're jealous. They're not like you. You got to watch this stuff, bud. People are out to hurt people, man. And they'll step on you. If they, they see you you got something going on and they can't get there, man, they'll go the opposite way on you. Try to destroy you. For no reason at all. Because anyone that sit here and say, hey, this is this is a good thing what they're doing over here. You know, you got to be real, be real. You know, I mean, this stuff is all bad, man. Everything these guys are doing. And anybody that agree with them, it's just a lonely... And, and broken people just like them. So they're saying, ah, yeah, yeah, we got them on this evil note. Get them, hit them even more. But that just shows us how evil you guys are in the inside, man. You run with these evil people. And act like you, you guys been, you already found them through crying. You found all these people through crying. So how are you going to do crying wrong like that when you found these people through him? Been watching crying for years before these people came along. Didn't have no problem with them. So when these guys come along, you're ready to destroy them and take them down because that's what you always wanted, bud. That's what you guys always wanted. Some people is split here, and they're not going to be anything, guys. They're never going to be anything in life. So, I mean, they can be something, but they got the mentality of this is all I'm going to be. So they're going to their hard working job. They see and crier. You know, he's coming up, he's talking about, hey, how I left the steel mill and now I'm doing great. People don't like this type of stuff. You got certain people that can't take it. Me, a person like me, guys, it, it, it inspires me to do bigger things. I love seeing people, you know, climb. It shows me it's hope for me too, man. Some of these people, they'll look at you and be like, ah, it's already, it's over for me. Ah, I'm not going to get on the hate wagon. Because it's over for me, and I can't take this guy my age, and he's doing it. And I feel it's over for me. And he got another chance at life. And they just don't like that type of stuff, but they don't like it. They don't like it, and they will hate on you to death, but they'll hate on you till they die. Because they're miserable, and they're evil, and they got nowhere to go. Some of them got husbands, but they don't pay them any attention. Some of them got a wife, and they don't pay them any attention, but... Anybody spending this much time on YouTube, you know, coming on people pages, and I ain't making no money, but you're not making anything off nothing you're doing. You ride a car, man, you talk trash, but where are you going with this? Nowhere, but you're not going anywhere with this, man. You're not going anywhere with this. You know, I can tell you where you're going. You're going to the block zone. You know, you can't talk again. You got to keep making up pages. You know, you're wasting time. For no, no money, man. Just waiting a whole bunch of time and you're not getting anything out of it, bud. Spread a little love, maybe a little love will come back to you, bud. But I, hey, I'm here to clean up these YouTube streets and for whoever wronged me and I'm gonna come at you, bud. Don't feel no bad about it. So, uh, like, share, and subscribe, cause this is a never ending story, bud. And I'm gonna be here to report it. No matter what anybody says, I'm going to be here to report it. Bud is going to be here to tell the truth. So don't do anything bad if you don't want Bud to figure it out. And, and, and dissect it and put it on the table. And let everybody see what's in the, really in the inside of this stuff. No, that not make any sense. But hey, until next time, goodbye.